The coronavirus pandemic has created concerns for those with disabilities. And right now, about 4,000 Special Olympics athletes in the state of Rhode Island are stuck at home. But up until today, they had no activities to look forward to. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin shares the fun ways one local athlete is coping during this time and how the organization is now planning to put on one of its biggest events in a different way. The head of Special Olympics Rhode Island says the hardest thing for his athletes to deal with right now is the isolation. But as they remain cooped up at home, he has some exciting news to share. Going to school at home isn't ideal for most kids, but the David family is trying to make it work. It's just kind of been a learning process. Tammy David is an East Providence police officer. Her son Cody is a freshman at Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School. I do. We had to go out. Cody's also an athlete for Special Olympics Rhode Island, one of about 4,000 in the state. CEO Denny DeJesus says his athletes share the same fears many of us have right now, but their biggest challenge is that they simply miss their teammates. We just started Zoom meetings uh, with our teams, and you can't imagine the excitement that they have when they see a teammate of theirs or a friend of theirs who they haven't seen for a month or two. You know, those are his friends that he hangs out with, he has fun with, and we're missing it. So to keep his mind off things, Tammy is improvising. Cody does worksheets for school, but he's also doing fun activities to keep him learning and motivated. What'd we do? We made up a, a cafe. A cafe. Yeah, a breakfast and a lunch cafe. We, we did a little menu. Yeah. And then we put it out on Facebook, and everybody was ordering from the menu. So we were taking orders, and I was writing them down, and then Cody was... Um, figuring out the math on like how much it would cost them. From working at his cafe to learning experiences right in the backyard. I did some fishing for science. Now something more to look forward to. With Special Olympics deciding late this week, they will hold their state summer games. But this year, it will be done virtually during the weekend of May 29th through the 31st. We're going to light the cauldron. We're going to have opening ceremonies. We're going to have athlete participation during the weekend. DeJesus says they're still trying to figure out the logistics. In the meantime, Special Olympics continues to check in on its athletes like Cody every week. I miss everybody. Reporting in Rehoboth, I'm Caroline Goggin. I hope they're doing well. Eyewitness News.